Good morning. Here we are, the first Wednesday in February. What an auspicious week this has been too. So February kicking off Black History Month in the United States. Monday was Rosa Parks Day, honoring that uh, great civil rights activist, patriot. Yesterday was Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year. How auspicious. I got some um, beautiful remembrances from a couple of my students. It was so nice. Yay. And here we are now on Wednesday and already February 6th. How amazing that we are into February in 2019 already. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. I'm Valerie Shepard coming to you live from the Hartley Center for Mindfulness and Self Mastery. Don't you love it when I lean in? Can you see my face? <laughs> I find myself doing that because I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you for joining. It is the Hump Day Happy Chat. And I'm here to share some um, concepts and ideas and personal hacks to help you have more happiness, fulfillment, and success every day, no matter what's going on within you or around you. And here at the Hartley Center for Mindfulness and Self Mastery, we talk about self mastery all the time. Self mastery is the idea of you mastering you, mastering yourself in your life so that you can exquisitely manage whatever your life brings your way. So you can stand in the midst of whatever's going on and say, bring it on, because I know how I can deal with it. And if I don't know how I can deal with it, at least I know I can deal with it. So here we are. Um, today's topic I wanna to talk to you about is uh, something that I really uh, like to talk about because it comes up a lot. I hear this a lot from my clients and my students. Um, they ask me a lot about this thing called doubt. So, um, today's conversation is about when in doubt, dot, 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 don't. When in doubt, don't. When you don't think you should say something, hold your tongue for a moment or two or a week or forever. When you're not sure whether an action is the right action to take, for you or your business or someone else or for your vision, don't take one. When in doubt, don't. Now, when I first heard this, it came from a very wise source in my life, shouting out to Loretta Shepard Hurst, also known as my mom, who I lovingly call Mamsie. So, she would say, when in doubt, don't. Don't do it then. And I used to feel like that was really lame advice. <laughs> Sorry, mom, I did. Um, I used to feel like, but what if I miss out? Hmm. What if I miss out? The opportunity is gonna go by. That person isn't going to wanna talk to me tomorrow, they're gonna wanna talk to me now. And so I would leap in, even though there was a little discomfort, a little, mm, uh, uh, mm, mm, hmm, a little bit of doubt, a pause, right? So Merriam-Webster's dictionary describes, or, uh, defines doubt as uncertainty, suspicion, lack of sureness about someone or something. And the uncertainty may range from falling just a little shy of uncertainty to almost complete lack of confidence. Almost complete lack of confidence. All of that falls into this big word, doubt. 
doubt. And it's funny because doubt can sometimes get a bad rap, right? We don't want to doubt things. It came back when all, I mean, you can trace the doubting Thomas um, concept all the way back to the Last Supper and the times around um, the disciples and their relationship with Jesus, with Yeshua. Doubting powers, doubting understanding. In this day and age, the fact that you might be doubting something may actually be a message from your inner self. That place inside you, that higher self, that soul level self, that highest consciousness self, that aspect of you that is always there even when you're not tuned in or tapped in or turned on by it, right? That aspect of you that has a vantage point that can see at a higher level and can see the intricacies of the connections that you may not be able to see in a moment in time, especially if your emotions are running high, or there's a lot riding on this decision. And so a lot of times we're told, stop doubting it, just go. And sometimes that can be really, really good advice. It can be really good advice, but not all the time. There are times when doubt is telling you, don't go. When the doubt that's coming up is actually that higher self saying, this is not for you. Sit this one out. You don't need to be there. She's not the one. He doesn't have the answers. That is a doubt that is worth listening to. That is a doubt that holds the key to what is for you. Like in the choicefulness of yes to this and no to that, you get on a path that is divinely rightly yours but you have to be willing to let some things go. I had a hard time with this because I was always afraid that what I let go would, it would never come back to me, that I would never be forgiven the mistake of passing up something that was really rightly mine, was mine to do or mine to say or mine to participate in or mine to have fun with. I really have done a lot of work on this feeling of missing out what am I missing out on? What is the doubt keeping me away from? And so I just want to um, clue you into the difference between a higher order doubt and a lower order doubt, okay? So we've probably all experienced that doubt that is in a moment of frenetic energy and we're afraid of lack, limitation, and loss. We're not seeing abundance. We're seeing that if I don't say yes, if I don't say yes, then something bad's going to happen. That's lack, limitation, not exactly the highest order. If you're saying, if you're doubting whether you should do something because you're afraid of the other person not liking you or not being okay with your decision, or something passing you by, that's kind of the lower order doubt. Higher order doubt comes from a peaceful knowing rather than a fearful wondering. A, low, a higher order doubt comes from a place of, I'm not really feeling a surety in this. I'm, not, I'm just not getting a clear answer. I'm doubting whether now is the right time for me to even give an answer. The higher order doubt feels peaceful. It feels expansive. It feels like the doubt that I'm holding right now is giving me an opportunity to tune in, to check in with my higher consciousness, to check in at a soul level, to check in with my body, to feel my way into it. Lower order doubt can feel constricting. Like, oh, I, I, better, I better not pass this up. But even while you're doing it, there's a little bit of a heart contraction. There's a little bit of a, uh, but you're still saying yes, even though you're feeling that, uh, right? So, or you're saying no, even though you're feeling it, oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't say no. 
lower order doubt is often coming from fear, lack, limitation, um, and, uh, and being disconnected from your truer voice. Higher order doubt carries that um, opening, the heart opening. And remember, the heart is a powerful guidance system, even more powerful than the intellect with its pros and cons and its weighing the ifs, ands, and buts. The heart can give you a pure, beautiful answer. And when we listen to it, that higher order doubt that says, you know what? Listen a little bit longer. Wait for that deeper voice that has that resonant, yes, it's time to go, like that leaning forward, that inner space. You know, a really simple way that a lot of people do is to check their doubt is muscle test it. And one of the ways is a lean test. You can get very clear, get very grounded, call in your higher self, speak that which you're thinking of doing and see which way you lean. Do I lean into it or do I lean away from it? That's a way to get yourself into a clear place. The best guidance though, is when you're in a space of doubt, the trust that if this is really for me, this doubt that I'm having right now is only an opportunity for me to get clarity. How is it for me? How should I step in? With whom should I go? What's the right timing? So some no's are not forever. They may just be not right now. And so the doubt that comes up that makes you question a yes or a no, maybe your inner guidance, your higher self, your higher consciousness saying, hold on my, my beloved, hold on my beloved, take a pause, tune in. The answer's coming, it's just not ready yet. So that's Loretta Shepard Hurst's famous, when in doubt, don't. And what does it have to do with happiness? Imagine, I bet you can remember the times when you didn't listen to that doubt because you thought it was, I'm afraid of not moving forward. And so even though my doubt is telling me, just take a pause, I'm gonna jump anyway because I'm afraid to miss out. I'm afraid they'll do the deal with someone else. I'm afraid this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. If I don't do it now, it's not gonna happen for me. So just remember, I was at a, at a beautiful gathering of these amazing globally conscious action um, um, change agents, the Evolutionary Business Council. And one of our beautiful talks was given by uh, an amazingly beautiful soul, Brian Smith, who's the founder of Ugg Boots. And he was telling a very poignant story of how his inner self, his inner guidance clearly gave him, uh, mm, no, this isn't for you. And he didn't listen to the guidance and moved forward. And he got to see exactly what that guidance was telling him to move away from or to stand still and let pass. So get clear that doubting something is not always um, a fearful based experience that is the wrong thing to listen to. A lot of times that doubt inside you is coming from your higher self and you need to listen and take no action until you're clear. That's it for today. When in doubt, don't. When in doubt, don't. And before I say farewell, I wanna say thank you for joining me. I'm so happy that you're here. We're gonna to continue to do these hump day happy chats. And coming up later this month on February 28th, that's a Thursday night, at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, we'll be going deeper into some of these concepts. You can join me in my um, Happier Camper Masterclass. So if you wanna be a happier camper in your life, come to the Masterclass. You can go to happytobeme.net. That's happytobeme.net. All the registration information and the blah, blah, blah is there. Happy hump day. Ciao. Oh, some people hate that. Ciao. Farewell. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. <laughs> you can do it all kinds of ways.
Many blessings. Mwah. Have a great day. Bye now. Bye now.